going on making here? So this video is why I um is on why I always say that Lapton is the king of all hormones, right? <clears throat> if you guys watch my videos, you notice that I'm always big on fixing your hormones first. Hormones come first, man. I don't care what you eat, I don't care what your calories are, I don't care what your micros are. If your hormones are fucked up, you're not gonna get optimal results, right? Because hormones are the messages of the body that tell the body, hey, build muscle, hey, burn fat. That comes first, okay? Calories and macros, all that shit that's very important, but all that does is manipulate hormones. So you want to, the, the the end result is hormone manipulation, right? And one of the questions that people ask is, how come I'm always mentioning leptin, right? The hormones that I always mention is leptin, insulin, testosterone, cortisol, and thyroid. Those are the five most important hormones for, you know, our situation. People are trying to build muscle, lose fat, things like that. And the reason why I say leptin is the king of all hormones because if you go back to my video and how I explained the, the way your body operates as like, a, you know, two tanks, you have the BMR tank, which is the, you know, you know, the basic shit, right? This tank takes care of keeping you alive um, in terms of caloric intake and things like that, keeping you alive, uh, keeping your, you know, your brain function, you know, I mean, pretty much all the basic shit. If you just laying on the bed, on a coma, whatever, your body's going to rely on this tank, right? The second tank is all the extra shit. I call it the bonus tank, right? That's testosterone production, muscle mass, energy levels through the roof, feeling great, happiness. You know I mean, all, all of that shit, right? All the extra stuff, that's in the second tank. The body's obviously not an idiot, right? It's a great economic machine. Just like you wouldn't spend money on video games and and uh, uh, expensive, luxurious item if you broke, in the exact same way, your body's not going to invest into this tank unless the fixed cost taken care of, right? So that's kind of like your rent and things like that. I'm pretty sure you, you pay that first before you go buy the new Jordans, right? So if your first tank is not optimized, if it's not full, if it's like fucking 30% here or 40% here, your body's not going to put jack shit into this one. It's going to put a little bit, of course, but you know, I'm trying to keep, you know, keep things simple. It's only when this first tank is optimized that your body begins to invest into the, the luxurious stuff, which is, your, you know, your hormone production, right? Your hormones... Now, you're good hormones, of course, and, um, you, you know, your, your strength, all those things. Now, the body needs a way to gauge if the first tank is taken care of, and your body uses leptin for that, right? Obviously, leptin is a hormone that's released from the fat cells, right? Um, leptin comes out of your fat cells, goes to the hypothalamus. The hypothalamus is the master regulator of metabolism. It's the master regulator of everything that we always talk about, all the hormones, muscle mass, you know, fat, all of those things, right? You know, your mood, your aggression, your your everything. It's the hypothalamus in the brain, right? So leptin goes straight to hypothalamus and like, hey, we have, you know, obviously if you see me, Mr. Hypothalamus, because I, I come from fat, that means that we have enough fat, right? That's how the body sees it. So the more fat you have, the more leptin you have, right? So leptin tells the brain, all right, we have enough calories. The first tank is complete. Now you can start investing into the second tank. So the hypothalamus goes, all right, let's get it popping. So he calls his homeboy, which is the pituitary gland, and he goes, all right, stop producing a whole bunch of shit, right? You know, thyroids, and, you know, um, the stuff that releases uh, thyroids, that releases growth hormone, that releases, you know, testosterone. I mean, everything that makes the body grow, right? That needs leptin in order to happen. That's why I say leptin is king of hormones because when your leptin levels are too low because you're eating too little calories or you're not getting enough carbs or whatever, um, or your carbs are way too low, like most people, you know, uh, eat and your cortisol is too high, whatever. When your leptin can't get that message over to the hypothalamus, so now you can't invest into that second tank. So you, so you see why leptin is so fucking important, right? And then if you have leptin resistance, that's even worse. People that are obese, and have leptin resistance, what's happening is, yeah, they have so much fat that the leptin keeps bombarding the hypothalamus, like, oh, you know, we fool, we fool, we fool. Eventually, your hypothalamus is like, hey, fuck you, just like insulin resistance. It's like, hey, I'm not listening to you anymore. You know, so now the hypothalamus does not listen to leptin, and what happens? The hypothalamus does not tell this homeboy pituitary gland to start releasing all the tank 2 shit, you know, the stuff that's going to increase your thyroid, stuff that's going to increase your, your testosterone and things like that. You know, so leptin is really at the, you know, on top of all the fucking hormones. That's also why people that are too fucking shredded and too lean notice that the sex drive goes down, you know, because guess what? You, you're too lean. You don't have enough body fat. You don't have enough body fat. You don't have enough leptin. <laughs> so you don't have leptin to go tell the brain, hey, we have enough calories. Go ahead and start filling the second tank. All right? So I hope that kind of paints a bigger picture of what leptin does. Of course, it does a lot of other things. I'm not going to go into details, you know, neuropeptide Y and 
you know, inflammation, all these things. But this is pretty much the gist of it. Understand just this basic, this basic part of leptin, and you know, you'll finally understand why I keep saying get some blood work done. You know, like check your leptin levels, make sure you have this, 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 and that, because that's all it fucking boils down to. You know, that's why I get so mad when people say it's all about calories, it's all about macros. No, it's fucking not. You know, people that have all these issues track the macros, they track the calories, but yet they get no results because they have fundamental issues they have to deal with first. Fix that first, then we could talk about calories and macros and whatever else. All right? So I hope that answers your question. Subscribe if you're new. Like the video if you fuck with Tim 3D and comment your questions below. Don't forget to help each other out in the comment section. All right? I'm out of here. Thank <laughs> you.